guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 41 of Tropical Breach for Tears. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So this has to be like Mirarin part 2 finale for her. Yes, because cause she's going yeah, to write the play, so technically, yeah. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting us to go right into the opening, but okay. Mm, 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 mm. I still can't believe we're almost done. We're like... It's 49 episodes, so we're on 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. We're in the last eight weeks of this. And, and it's so funny to think, like, okay, because it's the 19th for me, even though this came out on Saturday, and I was too busy Saturday to do this. So, of course, this is coming out Monday. Um... We haven't even gotten, like, official leaks or anything. There was a point, like, last week where we... Because usually, like, by my mom's birthday, which is the 13th, that's when leaks come out. And it was, like... It, it just seems like what this time, like, Toll is really, like, mm, we're gonna... <laughs> we are shielding. Uh, we're not letting anything get leaked. I mean... It would be nice to get something leaked so that we can officially see what these new girls are going to look because, like, we have to wait eight more weeks to figure out who these new girls are, um, what in the world they look at, look like, who's going to be their seiyu, so what, who's going to be the main seiyu we're going to be looking at for a whole year and such. I mean, cause, like, I just, I want to know, but then at the same time, I want to stay with these girls, damn it. That's just me. Because, <laughs> you know... <laughs> favoritism with sayers. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. Yeah, but still at the same time it is your story. Hmm? <laughs> All right, and I mean, you guys are getting to the end of this series, so I mean, there has to be a point where y'all are gonna get a win. <laughs> It's just like the same thing with a freaking like what are you gonna name your YouTube channel or <laughs> what the heck you gonna name your kid or your pet <laughs> That's right. You know, come on, it's Laura. She, you know, she's stretching the truth, putting some little things in there. <laughs> 
well, yeah, I mean, hold up, but at first, Laura really didn't even like medicine like that. She thought she was annoying a little bit. Uh, yeah. It's very similar to um, Hikaru's, like, Kirarawa and such. Because at first I was like, what? And then eventually when you got to know her, you were like, okay, that makes sense. I mean, it's still like a catchphrase, but then for something else specifically, like for um, Hikaru, it was something more. Same thing like with Manasa with Tropical Starting. Yeah, straight up, this feels like a whole recap episode. So that, oh, if it is a recap episode, does that mean we're doing it for everybody and not just Manitsu? I mean, because it would make the most sense. I mean, because the fact is we are so close to the end of this series. But it would, I mean, because we're only six minutes in. But I like that. I mean, because like, okay, hold on. What other pretty here series has done this? <laughs> I literally don't <laughs> remember any other And I just knew, after seeing this girl for the first time, I was like, that's it. Like, we already knew. Here, not even that. Once I heard the cast of this show, it was just a done deal for Deidre. I was just like, mm, this is the best thing <laughs> Because I will never forget, I was, um, the day that the cast for this show came out, I was at a restaurant with my mom. We went to go get pizza. And my friend, like, immediately texted me. Not even texted me. She tweeted me. And she was like, hey, here's the list, and you're going to freak out who's on this list. And I looked, and I, I was trying my hardest not to fangirl in this pizza restaurant. But So I kept calm, but inside I was like... <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you okay? And then this is when Laura made Laura. We all knew Laura had like the best facial expressions in this entire series. Cause girl, <laughs> cause that face right there and that face.
just the, like the freaking sailor hat was the best touch for her. Like, oh my god. My little Kirby, oh my god. <laughs> we started out as a magical girl in a death game to being one of the best characters in laid back camp to a magical girl for an iconic series. <laughs> Plus also Shin from Idol Master, which I still cannot believe that's her. No, I just freaking need Asuka Sayu, aka Nobara, and my best girl Aftali as well to be an Idol Master, please, and thank you. <laughs> so next would be Midori and herself. Yeah. I know! Just to have a cool baby who just likes cute things. She's just so adorable. Mm -hmm. Why is she gonna use everything? <laughs> no, oh my god, she's so cute when she blushes! Oh! I remember when she was saying that and she was like, no, I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for myself. And now look at your baby. Oh. Uh. I think the one thing that I truly love about Asuka is that she reminds me of both, like, Sailor Mercury, and not Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter in a nutshell, because Asuka is the tall one of the group, and so as someone who is tall, I think, you know, growing up, I never thought I was, like, always the prettiest one and such, and knowing that someone even as tall as me can be, like, very beautiful and such, because there's so many people in the world who say, like, like tall girls ain't that pretty, da, da, da. but yeah, like, she's so gorgeous. And then with Mirodin, like, the one thing that I love about her, besides her being freaking Mikasa from Attack on Titan and Violet Evergarden, is that, you know, 
she is a shy girl, very much to herself, very similar to me and everything. And she wants to write a story, but at the same time, she is scared. And it took her such a long time to finally, like, stand on her own two feet and be able to do something. And that's the one thing that, like, many things are like, uh, why I love all these girls. For many different reasons. <laughs> I wonder, are they just going to show, like, the macho girl kitty did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, because you are the only one left. I honestly really enjoyed this. I mean, especially for a recap episode, it is nice. Okay, what to say about Miss Laura? I mean, I can say a lot of things. I mean, this is also going to be like when we get to the final episode and such. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> as so many people have said in comments and tweet comments and everything, she does steal the show. She really does. Her expressions and everything, um... She can be funny at times. She can be just her facial expressions just get everybody. There have been several times that I have laughed and cried over this chick because she just goes <laughs> to a hundred. It's just still so weird to watch this. And just once again to know that we are almost done with this. And it's just like we just started this and we're done and it's just like oh my god and it's the one thing that I hate about being an anime reactor or just watching anime in general because of the fact is it goes by so freaking quickly even with the fact that it is now I have a job it technically kind of feels a little slow but still it goes by too quickly and next you know one minute we started something we're at the middle and then we're at the end and it's just like where did the time go i mean and the good thing is we're gonna have these girls for like two more years especially with the next two pretty cares but it's gonna be a little worse like once they leave and stuff for me <laughs> because I love these girls like oh so much I mean I love all the cares of the entirety of the series but like you know you everybody has their favorites what's up code <laughs> yeah today's just a chill day I don't really think so <laughs> of course. And Asuka, what about you? No! <laughs> 
She technically already plays that character in a way. In <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. Kind of, but not really. She played best girl in Jujutsu Kaisen. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, that's very similar to freaking um Ichika from Kitty Kitta. <laughs> and Asuka. Right? Yeah, like your comedy episode, aka episode 34. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, we've all been through so much. Mm hmm. Aww. But yeah, for a recap episode, it really was, like, very enjoyable. I mean, to see certain things, like, big, big story things that happened for each of the girls and stuff, specifically for the episode where they became a cure, and then maybe little tidbits of in, bleh, in between, it was nice. I mean, it was a nice little refresher, which, of course, that's what it is. I mean, but I cannot really remember any other Pretty Cure series that did like a recap episode of like important moments from like the first 40 episodes but yeah I really enjoyed it I mean it, it showed like certain things that of course you remember and then maybe some things that you probably forgot because there are so many episodes and if you're like me who reacts to like a gazillion animes and such you may forget some things and such but like oh I didn't remember that or I didn't remember this but to see everything and seeing Mirodin saying like oh I'm going to use little tidbits from each of the girl's stories including herself was really nice I mean now we're going into what the Christmas episode next week which of course is going to air on Christmas and then I think the show is gonna go on um their break until January just like every other anime that is essentially concluding in winter and such but yeah I I'm just you know still happy and sad because we're at the end of this show and I'm like god I don't want this to end like still I wish sometimes that total animation would take certain pretty curious series and give it like another season I mean but if they did we would be here for a very long time <laughs> god instead of it being short it's longer now and then Asuka's wearing a hoodie it looks like Laura is wearing like not a big pink poofy puffy dress but it seems like semi where it's just still like a casual type glam thing um Mirolin is giving me like straight uh Parisian vibes like especially I feel like her and CL from Kitty Kitty Pretty Yellow Mode would be top notch in the group of like dressing in so many good outfits but you know i'm but also with laura because laura is it just gives me those feels of the type of girl who's like i want to dress in this is that and the third and, such. and then song oh my god they all look so good i mean see me i'm always loving like different outfits because 
one thing that I love about a lot of shows that I grew up on and even shows that I watch now, especially when it comes to like, whether it's anime in general or it's just like cartoons, what I always preferred and enjoyed about the show was the fashion of the show and how you could get inspired by certain clothing that the characters always, always wore either every other episode because like, okay, one of my all time favorite cartoons, aka um, Totally Spies, which is what I'm sitting and rewatching like... Uh, I'll probably continue re my rewatch later on tonight. Um, with that series, every single episode, they're wearing, like, different freaking episodes. And that was the one thing that I loved about a lot of shows when I was growing up. And it's very similar to, like, Pretty Cure, but then, like, with Pretty Cure, it depends on what it is. You will always see them in the default episode, I mean, episode, outfit, which I love, but then sometimes I love it when they change it up, whether they're wearing, like, okay, okay. Like, the winter uniform. Love it. The win the new winter outfits. Love it. The outfits from the movie, when I do see that officially next year, because I still need to watch the Healing Good movie. And I need to do that technically during my break next week, so who knows if I have time. But, yes. Like, uh, outfits are just so good. And it's just, it, it's character. Especially, it gives the, the character a little more depth and oomph and stuff, where it's like, you get to know a little bit more about them without even hearing them talking or getting to know them, essentially. But yes. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 41 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday, Sunday, maybe, for episode 42. Bye, guys.